Believer by Imagine Dragons. So in this lesson I'm going to go through the chords and the basics and the bits and bobs you need to play it. I'm not going to play the whole song just now. I just want people to get used to the chords and the slightly different techniques for the more advanced players. There's a little finger picking bit I did there. So we'll start off with the chords. We've got ta -da, A minor, F, E7, which is going to be a new chord for a lot of people, and G. We only play the G once in the whole song. That's why I've written it small. So A minor, our first chord. You should all know this. This is a nice simple chord. It's simply you play the second fret on the G string. Now it's a good idea to play it with your second finger because we're going to be going straight to the F. So we're going to play it like this. So second fret, second finger, G string. Then we've got F. And now from that A minor shape, all we need to do is keep this second finger here on the second fret on the G and then put our first finger on the first fret of the E and strum all the strings. Again, nice easy chord. Most people will have done this chord already. And then we go to the E minor. Now this one's a bit new for most people, slightly different. Sorry, E7, not E minor, E7. It's fairly easy to play though. So your first finger goes on the first fret of the G, like that. Your second finger goes onto the second fret of the C string, like that. And then your third finger goes onto the second fret of the A. So, should sound like that. With our G chord, first finger on the second fret of the C, second finger, sorry, second finger on the second fret of the A, and your third finger goes on to the third fret of the E. So some people find the G a little bit difficult to play. That's okay. We only need to do it once in the bridge in this whole song. So the majority of the song, we're doing that A minor to F to E7. A minor, F, E7. And that is our strumming pattern through the whole song. It's got that nice easy down, up, 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 down, up. Or if you want to, because it's not a particularly fast song, you can do downs all the way. So you can even do it. Like that. And now because it's a little bit of a rearrangement of the fingers to go from the F to the E7, I tend to do an upstroke on the open strings before I land on it. So if I play it really slowly, I'll show you. I'll strum through those chords. So we start with our A minor again. To F. And before the E minor, do an upstroke, open strings. And so E7 onto our E7. So I'll just strum through that a few times slowly. So we go A minor, F, E7, back to A minor, F, E7, A minor. Now I'll sing through the first um, verse just so you can see how it fits in with the song. And then we'll get onto the chorus another time. There are a couple of slight little timing pauses, but we'll get onto that next time. So, this is the first verse. So we go. First things first, I'm going to say all the words inside my head. I'm. Wrong chord. Then again. First things first, I'm going to say all the words inside my head. I'm fired up and tired of the way that things have been. The way the things have been, oh, oh, oh. Second thing, second, don't you tell me that you think that I could be. I'm the one at the sale, I'm the master of my seat, oh, oh, oh. The 
master of my sea. Oh, oh. There we go. And it's that pattern all the way through. So what I'll do now is I will play for the more advanced players. There's a finger picking thing you can do instead of strumming through on the verses. Choruses will still strum. But then for the verses, we can do finger picking. So we pluck. So let's start with our A minor chord. And we pluck our G string there with our thumb. And then the rest of the strings for the upstroke, we pluck upwards with our fingers. One, two, three. So we go down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, like that. And it might take a little bit of time to master that and get used to that and to get it nice and fluid. But it's a really nice different dynamic shift in the song if you can do that. So I'll just play through those chords with that, like I did with the very beginning. Here we go. Right then, I uh, hope that's helpful. Uh, like I say, I will do a version of it, playing the song all the way through and going through the little strange little time. And there's a couple little pauses in the chorus, and I'll go through the bridge next time as well. So don't worry about the bridge just yet. Just get used to all those bits, and I hope that's helpful. <laughs>